good morning to your listening public, my friends, uh, brothers, sisters, uh, daughters, uh, spiritual daughters, and out there, and uh, wherever you are in America, in Liberia, in Canada, wherever you find yourself this morning in the midst of COVID, you know. Of uh, the, 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 the destruction of the lives of God's people and the life of the whole world where everybody running for each other, the churches have been restrained and, and, and drawn into a very tight corner where people can no longer worship and the way how they know how to worship and the way how they know how to interact with one another, that tradition of after church shaking the pastor hand and hawking one another and, and inviting each other for dinner and all of these things have been cut short because of COVID-19. Satan has spread his venom to his agent on earth so that God's people will be reduced down into a tight corner where they can't pray. But I told Satan at the beginning of, 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 of COVID-19 and I said, Satan, I deny this disease because God's children cannot submit themselves to your tricks and, and your devices and that you got against us. And I denounce it and begin to pray for my city, Hamilton, and the, and the nation of, of Canada and Liberia and every other nation. And, and I all over the place with my car. You know, with my posters, you know, praying for frontliners, you know, those that work in nursing home and, and, and in, group, in group homes, at people homes like myself, you know, and praying for them because at that time I wasn't working, I decided to use the time to pray. And God would answer the prayer at his own appointed time. God bless you this day. So for those of you who are turning I want to thank you for those who pray for my son Toba Ekakula, who just by inches escaped death through the grace and blessing of God and, uh, and neighbors and uh, who came to their rescue. Just He said to me, in five minutes, the people had not broken through that fence. All of them would have been dead because they already was taking in the carbon and no sir are already going into that lung and and they always also you know they was all like just like going down when the people when God sent his angels to open that fence and which was seem impossible to open and they rescued them. I want to thank God for his grace and his mercy and those that came to the rescue and those that have been praying in Jesus name. Amen. And you know, uh, Mother Jones uh, was laid to rest November 7 and uh, my mother, my dear praying mother that and I, I believe that two mother, three mothers that I'll be crying for the rest of my life. And, and the one that brought me on earth and, and the one that took me and made me to, to be who I am today. And Mother Jones who, who, who rescued me on the refugee camp and began to use the words of God to, to provide healing for things I was confused about and to pray for me. Up to the time she was dying, her last day on, on the bed, she told the children, leave me alone, I'm praying for those who've been helping me. And she said, oh, have you people heard from Isaac? And then, 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 then she, she closed her eyes quietly and went away. But I was on my way for the funeral. But God stopped me, I got frustrated. Because the house that I was supposed to be in, and at that time when it burned, because I was still going to be in Liberia, that's what the host that Petro bomb attack. I am not happy because I was in there. I am sad because it's happened. And in my even I've been there, no one would have going to be touched just how they were saved. All the others would have still be saved. So I didn't, I'm not happy that I wasn't there. I should, I was happy if I'd been there. Maybe how I provided a faster means of a, a, a rescue or maybe not. The spirit were arrested all of these guys and then nothing would have happened. But I praise God for his blessing. You know, the message from Mother Jones, I want to reflect on the song called, written by Charles Wesley called, a charge to keep a her and a God to glorify. Child Wesley was the younger brother of John Wesley, the father 
of the United Methodist of Methodist movement. And then uh, 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 Charles Wesley wrote this song as part of the quality of life. And, 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 and to, to celebrate stewardship. Stewardship is the work that you, 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 you do. You, you, you make yourself, you avail yourself to work for God, for the church, and for your community, and for disadvantaged people. And no, oh, that's kind of, so that charge that God has given us, that what we're supposed to do before He can call us home. So that on our day on Jericho Road, when we are on the line going and answering God's question, we will be able to meet up with God's standard on the last day. But let me see if I can give a little tune of this song in my own little weak way. And the song goes this way. And charge to keep a half. And go to glorify. And I would die in soul to say. To do my master's will. I'm in with just lost kid. My calling to fulfill. And may all my trust betray to do my master will. Amen. Yes, a charge to keep I have. And a God to glorify. And the ever dying soul to save. And to do my master's will. I mean, with jealous care, my calling to fulfill, to do my master's will. I stop by this morning to tell you, we are coming a time where everyone should shut your mouth for running your mouth on other people, spirituality, and turn to God in prayers. Get on your knees and begin to pray. Forget about those who have decided to pray and do the work of God. Just forget about it because God has personal relationship with people. People who acknowledge Him, even those who doesn't acknowledge Him, God acknowledges them through His grace and His mercy. I call them here today in our nation, especially in our nation, Liberia, where people and, and dying, they, they, they are brutally murdering people. The same thing that forefather and the parents and the same group did during the war in 1990 in Liberia, they are brought it to life, life day killing in Liberia. And uh, I want to tell you this morning, they took it to the wrong person. They took it to the wrong place. They are put petrol bomb fill them and it will always fill them but I come to tell you this morning corporate if you know yourself and whosoever listening to this broadcast and you know who are involved in a petrol bomb attack on Oro Gate go and tell them Mr. Yoya say you have a chance in life to go to your father in secret and confess your sins and look for a well meaningful spiritual leader and confess a sin and turn away from your wicked way if you're working with government resign and pick up the bible and confess everything you have done and pray and preach the gospel because god rescued paul on his way trying to kill god's people it was a reason why god arrested paul because paul had message to preach Paul knew what kind of message to preach to his people. The same people he killed at one point in his life, it was the same people that Paul went to spiritually rescue. So if you was part of that bomb that you throw in a compound, you better stop getting fire service to give that own useless report. You better go and repent of the sin. Because I'm telling you, when you mess Innocent babies from being burned to death. That same fire 
is still there. That hellfire is waiting for us somewhere that look seem to be far away. But hell can be on earth. Because if you try to burn innocent babies, I tell you, your own burning will be so painful if you do not repent to God. Because you will be strapped in your car and the fire will be burning and you will not have the way to even loose the, 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 the seat belt. Even all your bodyguards, they will be the first one to burn because there will be no one there to, to release your seat belt. And you're going to fry in that fire. But I love you, my dear, whosoever it is, that I want you to repent, confess your sin, and repent of your wickedness and resign from whatever position you are in. Go to the church, pick up the Bible, and repent to God because don't think except you don't have children, except you don't have family. Because God told the children of Israel, He said, if you do not change your ways from your forefathers, I will curse you unto the third and fourth generation and unto the last one in your home. And it came in Joshua chapter, uh, chapter 7, went to war and God told them, do not bring any stolen material into the promised land because you will bring bad blood into the promised land. And it came stole from the war front. And then he was hiding it. And then Joshua began to ask questions. Something going on because the children of Israel kept losing men on the battlefield. Something that never happened before. They kept falling into pieces. And Joshua decided to call the council of his people and ask, Who have done something? Who have brought this pain on us? Who have brought this curse on us that we are losing men? He wanted to know who did that, and everybody said they didn't know. And then finally, Joshua was able to use his spiritual power, and Achan came out and, and confessed to it. And listen to what God did to Achan and his family. Achan and his family was taken into the public square. And according to the scripture, Everything that have left in the home of Achan. God destroyed every life, the stone all of them to death. According to the scripture, even the youngest baby that was in Achan's home was stoned to death. And everything, because God's intention was to erase that generation from among the children of Israel. To make sure that the children of Israel will live in peace. Because God do not encourage killers. God encourage people who gave life. God do not defend any president who go and justify killing of his own people. God do not go for that. In America, when you want kidney, if the story is true, you go to the kidney bank and apply. People are waiting for years for kidney. They can't get it. You cannot take other people's children and kill them if the story is true. If it is not true, God have mercy upon me for mentioning it. But there's too many things that are happening in Liberia, our nation, that is true. I start by this morning to give this reflection to our people to turn away from your wicked ways. Turn from your wickedness. Liberia everywhere, everybody hit one another. When one person is succeeding, everybody will go against you. But the same people tomorrow, you see them fighting to succeed. If they have the guts, they will damage what you do. Then they want support from you. That will show that we have paralysis of the brains, Liberian people, paralysis of the brain, which means your brain is paralyzed. Because if you refuse supporting somebody else, why will you come and ask somebody else to support you? If you bring down another man for helping his community and destroy his character, what you think will happen to you and your unborn children, your born and born children? But I always ask God that God forgive the children because they know not what the parents do. Let the parents take their own body unto them and forgive the children. I come by this morning to tell you that we have the charge to keep and we have the God to glorify and ever dying soul to save, to do our master's will. I'm in 
with jealous care. My calling to fulfill. God bless you this morning. And God bless Liberia. God bless our nation, Canada. God, thank you, God, for ending the COVID-19. And God bless America, who is now suffering from their own traces of evil that they established. And now it's going after them. I thought it was Africa where president would say they're not leaving power and they will take gun. But I didn't know it can happen in America. But I pray for the people of America. I pray for Donald Trump so that God will touch his heart. So that he will come and make a very beautiful statement to the people of America. So that he can enjoy the, the last of his life. And the money, whatever financial grace God has given him. I pray in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son and the blessed Holy Spirit. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.